anyway, this is part two, and you know, like I said, if you don't know the language, then you know why would you want to get married? I mean, not if you don't know the language, but if you're not planning on learning the language, you know, because you know you have to think of a lot of things. You know, you can your wife might want to talk really intimate and talk about something that's um, requires um, some kind of emotions and stuff. So she want to speak in her language. You know, and if you were to learn Japanese, you'd be able to understand. I'm not saying you would be understanding it maybe at her level or something, but you never know. You might, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, what they think and our thinking, you know, it's not that much different. It's just, you know, we live in a violent uh, culture, a violent country, and they don't, you know what I'm saying? And they're more into, you know, romance and feelings and stuff in America, you know. they, they I guess they're not, you know, since everybody's talking about you know, people being sluts and stuff, so I guess America, you know, everybody's good and virgins and, you know, good Christians or whatever you're supposed to be, you know, but, um, you know, when I'm saying, you know, this is really serious, and even with the kids, you know, your kid grew up and, um, and naturally, you know, some parents make an attempt to teach their kids English, but, you know, because, uh, you know, they're with Japanese friends all the time. They'll probably be easier for them to speak in uh, in English, you know. And most of the, a lot of the fathers don't teach their kids, you know. So, they, I mean, they teach them a little bit. But, you know, I know some parents whose kids don't, you know, they speak a little bit of English. But you start running off, they're like, uh-huh, you know, speaking Japanese, you know. And uh, even my son, you know, don't talk to him in English. He, like, just tell me in Japanese, you know. And, I'm like, wow, you know, I really need to get on the ball, you know, and I mean, it's going to be Japanese, a lot of other Japanese people want to talk to you that don't speak, you know, English, and, and you know, and not knowing the language, you know, not only is it just straight, just ridiculous, but, you know, you miss a whole lot of opportunities, I mean, there are so many doors that can be opened up, that will be opened up if you just know the language, you know, and, you know, I'm studying right now, you know, and it's just, it's just something you have to do. I mean, if my Japanese was better, you know, I can, I would be able to have a um, school in every country, I mean, every prefecture, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that I can't do it, but, you know, it's kind of difficult for me to get help. I know other people that, you know, seem like they can just, they find these people that's willing to help them, you know, I know had too many people that help me because I, all my friends, they pretty much speak in Japanese and I don't have a lot of uh, English speaker friends in um, Wakayama and stuff, but you know, still it's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of, um, there are a lot of um, opportunities I missed out on, a whole bunch of them, you know, and, and a lot of my friends and I are rich, and most of the people I've met out here, they rich or got rich families, you know, and you know, you'll meet someone that's, you know, one of your friends that speaks English and their parents are rich and they probably, they want to do business because I hear in Japan. You know, it's all about business and stuff. And they might come up and say something to you like, hey, you don't want to do some business together? I'll invest everything, but we'll split everything 50-50. You know, and all I need you to do is just, uh, you know, just help me, you know, and let me know this, you know, get things from America because I can't speak English. How about, you know, be doing this? You know, and if he's saying in English, Japanese like that, you know what I'm saying? And then you turn around and go, oh, I'm sorry, I don't understand Japanese. Then he going to look at you like, damn, what a fucking fool. You know, dude, I just, oh, man, I just missed my, oh, I can't do it like that. I missed my turn. And anyway, he'll he'll think, you know, wow, I can't believe this guy, you know. Um, you know, and they're going to, you know, and the older people, they're gonna, they're just going to like, wow, what's going on with these young kids, you know. Why can't, why aren't you studying Japanese? Why aren't you studying Japanese? Why aren't you studying? It's just not that hard. It's just not that hard. You're okay, sure. You know, but you still got to try. You're a grown man. There's no excuse. And, like, even for me, you know, I'm sitting here making this video and stuff, right? But I ain't got no excuse. I've been here 16 years, and, you know, I've studied and everything, and I've done a lot, you know. But I guess, you know, I just didn't put myself in positions and situations where that I should have been in. You know, I mean, I walking down the street, and, you know, somebody, uh, say something to me in Japanese and they have a kid and they say, hey, I want to teach you, you know, you teach my kid private Japanese, you know, and I pay you a lot of money. I don't care, you know, and because, you know, I know the way you're teaching is real good. And they might say in some 
Wakayama Bend, you know, dialect or something like that. And if I'm not paying attention, then I'm missing like, oh, konnichiwa, hajime maste. You know, and oh, you got a cute kid and play with the kid. And then, oh, okay, I got to go and buy. And they'll look at me like, damn, what a fucking idiot. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, you never know. You're sitting in a bar or you on a train, you know, and you never know who's on those trains. A lot of rich people ride those trains. They got money, you know, because, you know, it's nice to drive around, drive around in your car and stuff, but it's tiring, you know, and it takes a lot out of you. You know, so a lot of people, they just they just don't drive. You know, they got nice cars, and they just park their cars, and they catch a bus, you know, or catch a train. You know, so all I'm just saying is, you know, um, if you can, come out here and study. What I'm going to start doing is I'm going to make some short um, um, clips and stuff on Japanese. And what I'll do is I'll, I don't know, I'll try not to make them too, well, I guess I can make them too, 10 minutes. But my Japanese really sucks, but I can teach, you know, the best I can. And you still study on your, uh, by yourself and fill in the blanks and stuff, you know, but... There's other people out here, but I can I got a way or I can teach you where I think is it should be pretty easy for you to pick it up, you know. And um, I can teach you a little kanji and stuff, you know. Kanji is just you just gotta uh, read that stuff. I mean, you know, you just gotta study it. But anyway, you know, to get on what I was saying, you know, not learning Japanese. A lot of people go in this country and they don't, you know. And I'm sure. Uh, not speaking the language is detrimental to your relationship with your wife, your kids, your family, you know, her, I mean, you know, your immediate family, you know, her family, you know, a lot of business opportunities are going to go right, I mean, it's going to come right to you, say, hey, I got a million dollars, and you're like, oh, sorry, I don't speak Japanese, you know, and you leave and he look at you and go, oh my God, what a fucking fool, you know. And even though I just said it, but I'm just saying, you know, it's a trip. You know, so like, for me, like, my kid is sick. I'll just call uh, the hospital and stuff. But like, my wife always home, but I would just, I know where to go. So I just go up there and I just tell them what's wrong. And you got to fill out these forms and stuff. And they're all in Japanese, you know. And um, tell them and, you know, and then they'll come and they'll explain things to me and, of course, I'm not ex understanding everything they're saying, but, you know, I've studied some kanji and some, you know, uh, medical things a little bit, and so I'll ask them what a certain, what kanji is this, what kanji is it that they're using, and, and if they tell me the kanji and stuff, then I'm, I'm like, oh, okay, 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 and then I pretty much can fill in, like, 80% of, of what they're saying, you know, and I'm saying, like, oh, okay, you mean this thing, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, okay, okay, you know. And I mean, you got some doctors that do speak English, and they will tell you um, some things in English. But you just got some that say, hey, you know, I'm not going to um, uh, take a chance and miss and get this, misinform this person. So I'm going to tell them in Japanese, and it's their responsibility to be able to understand. And another thing, too, if you, if you study the kanji and stuff, you know, you really study the kanji, You'll learn a lot of Japanese and uh, remember what the kanji means and stuff. You know, when you're walking down the street and you're looking at things, you're looking at books or whatever, and you're trying to figure out things because you understand that kanji. You don't even have to know what it means, but I mean, exactly how to read it, but you can pretty much figure out what it means, you know. So, um, just get on that, you know, and um, they. They got a writing style, a speaking style. They're both different. You know, the words are different. My advice to you would be to um, um, read comic books, and but understand that the comic books are the street language, you know. And then read, um, listen to the news and stuff. And sometimes when they're speaking on the news, you know, they just use a natural speech, like, you know, you're in the hood or wherever you're wherever you're living and stuff, you know, <clears throat> and you're speaking, um, they speaking like that, um, if you want to learn real Japanese, the best thing to do is just get a Japanese magazine, go online, you know, get a, uh, read the newspapers, you know, if you don't remember, know something, you know, copy and paste and go to a Japanese translator or place or a dictionary.
paste and copy and 